Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about April slash May's monthly makeup bag. Um, I decided to film this a little bit differently this go around. So I thought instead of just showing you guys um, me picking products or just me talking about products, I would kind of combine the two. So what I'm going to do today is, because it's the first month, I already did April's monthly makeup bag. So for the month of April, I was using these products that I'm going to talk about. And... Now for May, <laughs> I'm going to share with you guys how I felt about these products while I was using them, whether I want to keep them in the monthly makeup bag, put them back in my collection, or declutter them, um, and then we're going to pick May's products as well. Um, as we go, I swear it'll make more sense, um, and then once this is all over, you can tell me which of the three filming things you like more. Uh, but we're going to get started because it's going to be a long video. So first off, I'm going to start off with base products. Um, I have my base product drawer sitting next to me here, so I'm going to go through each category, talk about what was in my monthly makeup bag, and then kind of decide what I want to do. So for this month, I had one primer in my monthly makeup bag, and I was using the Ren Perfect Canvas. This is what this looks like. Um, this is a silicone-free priming serum, if it'll focus. Hello, there it goes. Um, I did not get that much use out of this product this month <laughs> uh, because I really wasn't using primer all that much this month. I don't know why. I just didn't gravitate towards this. I don't know if it was because it was this product or what. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this in my monthly makeup bag, but I'm also going to put in another option for primer. So this is going to stay because I really need to decide how I feel about this product and figure out whether or not it's irritating my skin. So this is going to stay in for May. And I'm also going to add in, if I can find it, this sample of the Aveeno Positively Radiant Max Glow Infusion Drops. I bought this and never really used it, um, so I want to give it a try and see how I feel about this. And this will be easy to use up, so I'm going to put this in as well. So next up for foundation, I had three foundations. Um, and the reasoning for this is... I originally only put these two foundations in my monthly makeup bag and quickly, quickly realized this is not the right shade for me. So I kind of put this to the side and added in my Natasha Denona. So the Natasha Denona foundation I actually really enjoy and I feel like I put a good dent into it. So I'm actually going to put this back into my collection. The L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. Um... I like, I don't think this color is the best for me. I think it's like half a shade too light. So I found myself not really wanting to use this, but I think I'm going to keep it in my monthly makeup bag and try to add in some bronzing products and see if I can make this shade work for me. Uh, if I can, I'll keep it because I do really like the foundation, but if the shade just does not work for me at all, I am going to pass it along. So this is going to stay. And I'm also going to move out this Lancome product. I do eventually want to use this up within the next few months, but I think I need to wait until summer when I have a little bit more color. All right, so I do want to add in another foundation into my monthly makeup bag because I do like having two options. One that is a little bit more high coverage and one that is a little bit more lightweight. So I'm going to pull out some of my lightweight foundations and we will go from there. Alright, so for lightweight foundations, I have these. Uh, the Kosas Tinted Face Oil I absolutely love, so I don't really want to like try and use that up or anything. Um, I'm really trying to focus on products that I think I could use up or would be okay using up. Um, next up, we have the MAC Face and Body. This could be a contender. Um, I also just picked up the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, which is new so don't really want to use that up and then my milk makeup uh skin tint i really love so don't really want to use that up uh the other foundation that could be a contender is the charlotte tilbury light wonder mostly because since i bought this i haven't really gotten a lot of use out of it so i think of these two products i'm going to put this one in not necessarily because i want to finish the product but mostly because i want to try and get more use out of it because i feel like it's kind of getting pushed to the back and i haven't really used it all that much now for concealer, I had two concealers in here this month. First up, the LC Complete Remedy uh, Concealer, and I actually really, really enjoyed this. I didn't think I was going to like it because I had used it previously and it didn't look great on my skin, but I don't know what I changed, but I do really, really enjoy this now, so I'm going to put this back in my collection. The Too Faced Born This Way, 
I do really like but I'm just trying to use it up because the shade is okay for me I think I could have gotten a better shade and I just really want to use up a concealer and this is the one that has the least product in it um so I'm going to keep this in the monthly makeup bag until I use it up and then the other concealers that I have first up I just repurchased my Glossier stretch concealer um this is like my go-to everyday concealer so that I also have the milk makeup flex concealer which I used to really love and I repurchased it but I don't know I don't know if they changed it but it's just not the same to me anymore so that might go in as well um, and then I also have the NARS soft matte concealer which is like my summer concealer my skin gets a little bit oily um, so I'm gonna save this for then but I definitely think I can use this up this summer and I actually think I'm going to put my milk makeup concealer into my monthly makeup bag as well to see if I can kind of figure out a better way to use it so these are all of my complexion products um, I like the selection I think I have some good a good variety here that will keep me engaged and not bored um, but I feel like I also can make a good dent in these products uh, I also feel like I want to add in a setting spray because I've been accumulating a lot of them recently I don't know why um, so I have my three max pluses I have the original um, and then I have the rose and lavender scents as well this is my favorite setting spray makeup spray no matter whatever it is um so i don't really feel the need to like actively try to use these up so i'm gonna put those to the side but i also have a milani make it last and i have two of the urban decay mini all-nighters i love this setting spray for when i am when i know that i'm going to be out for a really long time and i need something that's actually going to like make my makeup last so these are really good for that but i don't feel like i need two of them so i think i can put one of these in my monthly makeup bag I'll put that one in um, and just keep the one and then the Milani make it last setting spray um, I used to really like this I just haven't used it in a while so I'm just gonna keep this in my collection for now but this will probably be in a future monthly makeup bag soon so next up we have cheek products and this was a category where I had a lot of stuff in it um, I kind of had two of each product which was kind of overkill and I found myself getting really overwhelmed so I think I'm gonna stick to just like one of each category this time around um, but let's start off with bronzer okay sorry trying to get my life organized so I had three bl three bronzers in my monthly makeup bag this month I had the Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer which um, if you watched my last monthly makeup bag video I wasn't sure how I was feeling about this product and I was kind of wishy-washy on it but this past month I actually got a lot of use out of it and I found myself actually really enjoying it. I switched up my application process and the brush that I was using, and I think that helped a lot. I found that it blended a lot easier on my skin, it didn't look as patchy, um, so I think I just needed to try some new things with it, and I actually really enjoy it now. So I think what I'm going to do is actually put this into my collection and pick something new. Um, I was also testing out these Wet n Wild bronzers, and this was more of like a do I like them enough to keep them in my collection kind of thing. And I think that I have the shades Sunset Striptease and then Palm Beach Ready. So Sunset Striptease is a little bit more matte. And then this Palm Beach Ready one is like more shimmery. If this will focus. Come on. Come on. It just doesn't want to focus today. But I promise you it's a little bit more shimmery. Um, I really, really enjoyed Palm, or no, Sunset Strip Tees. It's the bronzer I'm wearing today. So I definitely think I'm going to keep this in collect my collection. Um, but this one I'm a little bit iffy on, so I'm going to put this to the side for now. So then of my collection bronzers, I think I want to put, oh my gosh, everything is falling over. <laughs> I think I have already decided that I want to put a cream bronzer in my monthly makeup bag this month. So I'm not even going to talk about the other powder bronzers that I own. But I do own four cream bronzers. The first is my Chanel Beauty one. I really love this product. It was a gift this past Christmas. So I'm going to just put that in my collection. My milked, milked, <laughs> Milk Baked Bronzer is my all-time favorite bronzer. I will repurchase this for the rest of my life. So I'm just going to quietly slide that back into its place. And then the last two bronzers that I have are the Trustique and the uh, uh, Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. 
So these products are nice. They're good. Don't get me wrong. I actually was surprised at how much I liked the Trustique one. But I just don't think I need four cream bronzers in my collection. So I want to see how much product each one of these has and see which one I'm more likely to use up. So that's how much product the Nude Sticks one has. And that is how much product the Trustique one has. So looking at these two, they seem to have, this one seems to have a little bit of less product. Um, but I don't actually know. So I think I'm going to put the Trustique one in my monthly makeup bag and see if I can use up a good dent of that. I would like to try and use up one of these cream bronzers um, just because I think four is way too many. So I will work on this one and I'm going to keep the Wet n Wild bronzer in my collection or in my monthly makeup bag for now just until I decide how I feel about it and whether or not I want to keep it. So I'm already breaking my rule of only keeping one of each category in this, but it's fine, it's fine. So next up we have blushes and I have acquired way too much blush for someone who is a self-proclaimed blush hater. Um, I don't know how this happened. Someone please help me. Um, but in my monthly makeup bag for April, I was using the Pixi Glow Cake in Gilded Bear Glow, which looks like this. This is supposed to be a dupe for the um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk blush. I've never used that, but this is gorgeous and I actually really really enjoy this product so I'm going to keep this in my collection. The Burt's Bees blush in Sue's Sands. This is their All Aglow collection. I actually really really enjoyed. When I first got it I didn't like how not pigmented it was um, but then I actually actually then I actually actually then I actually grew to love that about this product. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today and it just looks very natural like a very natural flush so gonna keep this as well. So all of my powder blushes, let me just, okay. all of my powder blushes are blushes that I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy and will never ever get rid of. So I have my three hourglass right here. It's Brilliant Nude, Mood Exposure, and Dim Infusion. Um, they're my three all-time favorite blushes. That's that. NARS Madly, again, all-time favorite blush. This one is a little bit new to me. This is MAC Lovejoy, and oh gosh, I think it's a gorgeous color, and I think it'll be really pretty during the summer. I can never open this packaging, because it is a little bit deeper. It has like a peachy uh, bronze kind of tone to it, so you'll probably be seeing that in a summer monthly makeup bag. So all of those I'm just going to put to the side. As for my cream blushes, um, I did just buy two of the Glossier Cloud Paints, so I've been kind of testing those out. Um, let's see. My NARS Hot Tin Roof I'll never ever get rid of, and that's more of a summer shade for me. So I have five blushes that I'm kind of going between right now. First up, I have the Ara Perez Carrot Color Pop, um, Color Pot. I don't know. Um, but I feel like, again, this is more of a summer shade, so I'm gonna save that. I also have this Flower Blush Balm in Cinnamon, which this is, could be a contender. I have the Nude Sticks in Bareback. I really like that one. That's a good, like, neutral. Alright, I think what I'm going to do is put in the uh, Flower Blush Balm in Cinnamon. Uh, I didn't, I haven't, I've used this a few times and I do like it, but I don't feel like I've given it enough love. So, that's going to go in my monthly makeup bag. And now for highlight, I had two highlights in my monthly makeup bag for April. I had the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette, and I mostly used these two shades. And then I also had this Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit. Um, I absolutely adore this highlight, but it is so old, and I think it's been um, kind of irritating my skin a little bit. <laughs> Um, every time I use this, I get like little bumps where it was applied, and I've never had that happen with another milk product, cream product, um, so I think that this is just super old. I have had this for over two years. I know, please don't judge me. So I think I'm going to have to toss this, <clears throat> but I am actually going to repurchase another mini of this um, during the Sephora sale because I do really like it, but I think it's just it's just too expired. So that's going to go over there, but the Dior palette I'm going to put back in my collection. As for highlighter this month, I was choosing a powder and a cream formula to kind of switch between depending on my mood, but I think this month I'm just going to choose one and really focus on using it. Um, 
So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glossy holoscope and put this in my monthly makeup bag because I feel like I need to, to give it some love. Uh, I haven't been using it as much as my other highlights. I actually use the rest of my highlights a good amount. So this is going to go in my monthly makeup bag. So first up, let's talk about the palette for the month. So I have so many eyeshadow bottles. I'm not allowed to buy another eyeshadow palette for the rest of my life. So this month I was using the NARS Narcissist Loaded Palette. This was the first limited edition palette that they came out with. And I really love this color scheme. I think it's gorgeous and it's a nice kind of balance between warm and cool toned. And this colors, this colors, these colors actually made me realize that I do not need the new palette that they came out. The skin, whatever that palette is called, I don't know. Um, because there are a lot of similar shades between the two. So that was a very successful month. Um, but I am ready to kind of try something new. So I really scaled down the amount of palettes that I own. Um, I passed along a lot to, to friends. I sold a few. I donated a few because I was just getting really overwhelmed and only using one or two of the same palettes over and over again. So, so all of my NARS palettes, I have the one I just showed you. I have Wanted and I also have Ignited. All these palettes I really, really love and I do get a decent amount of use out of just because the NARS formula is one of my favorites. So these palettes I know that I use. Um, I also have a ton of ColourPop palettes. Let's pull these out. I have both of Kathleen Light's collabs. So I have Dream Street and Zodiac. I'm actually wearing Zodiac on my eyes today. All right, so I'm going between these two palettes. I think I'm gonna put them to the side for now and do my other eye stuff and then based off what I pick for the other stuff, decide which of those two palettes I'm going to uh, choose. Next up, let's talk about brows. So I don't own a lot of brow product right now. Let's see, let's pull out everything. In my current monthly makeup bag, I had the Glossier Boy Brow and the ColourPop, what is this, Bo Brow Boss Pencil. Um, I'm going to keep these both in my monthly makeup bag because they are almost out. This has a few uses left and this is like half gone because um, I, I do really want to use these up. So I am going to keep those in my monthly makeup bag. And I don't really think I'm going to add anything else just yet. All right, so for mascara, this is where things get super crazy. I have, in my monthly makeup bag, I had two mascaras. I had the Tarte Man Eater Mascara and the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Uh, the Tarte Man Eater, I didn't love. Um, it was okay, but I think I'm going to toss this. It is just a little sample size, so I'm not overly mad at it, and it is getting like already super crumbly, um, so that's gonna go. As for the CoverGirl one, it's so dry already, but I absolutely love this mascara. Um, so I'm gonna try and get like a few uses out of it. It's only like a month old So I'm gonna keep this in my monthly makeup bag, but I'm also gonna put in another one as well So for my mascara backups that I have to choose from I have three opened currently. I have the NARS Climax mascara Which I really love I have my mom actually just gave me the Pat McGrath's labs one which is brand new so gonna keep that and then I also have the Thrive um, Liquid Lash Extension. So those are the things that I have open. And then I have a ton of backups. I don't know why. I don't know how this happened. So full-size backups. I have the L'Oreal Telescopic. I have the ColourPop BFF Mascara. I have the Maybelline Colossal Volume. And then the Glossier Lash Slick. And then for travel, I have the Hourglass Caution. So I do want to open another one of these up and test it out. So I'm going to open the uh, Glossy Lash Slick because I don't have another um, everyday uh, casual mascara open. So I'm going to open this one and put this in my mascara drawer and I'm going to move the NARS Climax into my monthly makeup bag because I've had this open for a while now and I feel like I need to start using it up before it goes bad. And then all the other ones I'm going to put aside as backups. And once the CoverGirl one um, is done, I am going to open one of these to drugstore because I do like to have a drugstore mascara option at all times. Okay, eyeliner. I don't own a lot of eyeliner. These are all the ones I have. All the Marc Jacobs ones are staying. Um, I use those on the daily. 
Um, this Physicians Formula Liquid Liner I'm going to keep in my monthly makeup bag because it has only a few more uses before it's going to be done. That was loud. And then I also have this ColourPop one, um, which doesn't have a ton of product left in it. And it's very similar to one of the Marc Jacobs ones that I have. So I'm just going to try and use this up. So I'm going to keep that in my monthly makeup bag. And yeah, that's, that's, that's all I got for eyeliner. So for single shadows this month, I have the ColourPop Supernova Shadow and Constellation in my monthly makeup bag. And I honestly didn't get that much use out of it because it wasn't the best. Um, it, was, it was okay, but it wasn't my favorite liquid shadow. But I think what I'm going to do is keep it in May's monthly makeup bag as well um, and see if I get more use out of it and then kind of decide. But I'm also going to put in this Nude Sticks uh, Crayon Eyeshadow in Twilight. Just give it a quick little swatch. This is the color right here. I do really like it, but I just find that I don't get a ton of use out of this shade. So I want to see if I will. So this month I had two lip color lip color. <laughs> this month I had two lip products in my monthly makeup bag. The first was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip Booster. Um, this is gonna be in my monthly makeup bag until I use it up. So this is going straight back in. Um, I also had this Dose of Colors lipstick in Brulee. Um, this is okay. I just like, it's just such a dry formula. So I think I'm actually going to declutter that. I think I'm going to put in my NARS, uh, Raquel, Raquel lipstick. Uh, I haven't used this in a while, but it used to be one of my faves. So excited to rediscover that. Oh, palettes. Forgot to pick a palette. So let's see. Of these two palettes, which one? So this is, um, Born to Run. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. And then this is Zodiac kind of similar like some neutral shades and then some pops of color in both palettes but I think I'm going to put the uh, ColourPop palette in purely because I have used the Urban Decay one more and I feel like I just want to get more use out of this one so Urban Decay is going to go back into my collection this is going to go into my monthly makeup bag so that is all the products that are going to be featured in May's monthly makeup bag um, let me know how you guys feel about this setup um, and which of the three, four, how many, I don't even know, setups I did. So the first one I did, it was just me trying on the products um, and not really showing you guys why I picked them. Um, the second one was just purely showing me, showing you guys how I picked them with a little bit of review on what I was doing with the products from the previous month. And then obviously this month I didn't show you guys what I picked for this month but that was purely because this was the first month um, but this third way I will be showing you guys a little bit more in depth of how I felt about the month's prior products and then a little bit more in depth on how I'm picking the products I hope that makes sense this way is best of both worlds the other two is just split up <laughs> um, but let me know which way you like best I kind of like this way um, just because I feel like I get to explain a little bit more as to why I am keeping a product, why I'm getting rid of it, why I'm picking it for the monthly makeup bag. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Or is there another way that I should be filming these? Let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm excited for May's monthly makeup bag. Um, if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.